Our artist of the week this week is Andy Warhol. Here he is with a dachshund. Andy Warhol was a pop artist, meaning he used a lot of images from popular culture, so things that people could recognize. This is an artwork that he made using Mickey Mouse. So Andy Warhol was famous for using the Campbell's soup can in a lot of his artists. He was a printmaker, meaning that his paintings could be made over and over and over again using a silk screen, which is kind of like a stamp. Um, a lot of his artworks were repeated images where the stamps changed color in each different box. So you can see that in this Campbell soup artwork. You can also see that in this artwork using Marilyn Monroe. She was really famous and Andy Warhol was kind of obsessed with famous people. Andy Warhol was also very well known for this album cover by the band The Velvet Underground. So for my project example, I'm gonna get inspired by him and I'm going to make a banana stamp. Here we go. These are some Andy Warhol inspired styrofoam marker prints. So you will need a piece of styrofoam for this project. You can find these um, in the grocery store with meat and produce uh, on top of them. You can wash them off and reuse them. Um, so to get started, first you're gonna need to come up with an idea for your print. These are really simple designs. The simpler, the better. Uh, try not to make it really complicated, otherwise coloring in all the different areas is gonna be tough for you. So first, I am going to think about what I want to put on my styrofoam. It's definitely a good idea to sketch out what you want on your styrofoam first. So if you want to do that, you can trace your styrofoam. And make a sketch here. So I'm gonna pick something pretty simple for my sketch. A little Andy Warhol inspiration. I'm gonna do a banana. And you can split up the background into different shapes if you want. I'm gonna put a couple little lines on here to show that it's an actual banana. Um, I'm gonna leave my background plain, but with this cheese one, I broke it up into pieces. It just takes a little longer to color. Okay, so here's my sketch. Now I can cut this out, put it over my styrofoam and press in to trace. Taping it on is a good idea. Your paper might rip a little as you're sketching this, but that's okay. You don't have to press super duper hard because you're gonna go over this again a second time. Okay, now you can see that my pencil made a couple of little um, indents, but we want them to be a little deeper. So let's go over it one more time. Okay, so now you can see my indents are a little deeper. You should be able to feel them when you run your finger over this. So now I am going to start the marker portion of this. So what you wanna do is you're gonna use water-based markers so they don't dry super quick. And use the side of the marker to color in the big areas. It's gonna get on your fingers. Just try to hold the edges as best you can. Now, I'm going to take my piece of paper and I'm going to do this carefully. I'm gonna hold it nice and steady, press it down gently and just push down on it. Don't let it move, otherwise you're gonna get a double print. Okay, so there's my first print. Now I need to clean this off a little bit. So with a piece of damp paper towel, I'm going to clean it. For your next print, 
you want to use different colors and they can be a little crazy. So you don't have to make the banana yellow every single time. You can get a little wild with it like Andy Warhol did. This one looks kind of like a pickle. <laughs> So now your next print, you want to hold it right up against that first one. Do it really carefully. Leave a little border in between. Try to make it nice and straight. Press it down. Awesome. Okay. Clean it. Now keep your borders nice and clean. Um, one more. Oh yeah. Looks pretty cool. So one important thing that I did not mention about this is that if you start on your styrofoam and you make a mistake. You have to try to work with it. You can use the other side if there's nothing on the other side or that could even help you to make an interesting design. Um, but most of the sides of the styrofoam, the second one is clean. If you do make a mistake, try to work it into your design. Make it into a happy accident because we don't wanna waste these this beautiful material. Um, I think that my cat and my cheese came out more interesting than my banana. So think about your subject pretty carefully before you start drawing. Good luck. Have fun with it.